Hi guys, welcome to the channel and kaboom! Yes guys, and today I've got an absolutely sensational attack strategy for you, which includes the amazing log launcher. Not only that, we've got 15 yetis and 10 invisibility spells. We, we pretty much keep the royal champion invisible for a large section of the attack, and that's what gets us three stars, and the log launcher of course. Anyway, let's go on over and have a quick look at the information about the log launcher. You're going to want to try and uh, unlock this as quickly as possible. Remember, of course, you can get it donated. Yeah, guys, it's amazing. And I do have a standalone video showcasing the log launcher. If you want to check that out, I've just released that. Anyway, it's pretty slow, but it's very powerful. That's all you need to know. We're going to watch it in action in just a moment, guys. First of all, though, we're going to head on over to the barracks to check out the army composition. So here we go, guys, your army. This really is an amazing army. It's going to consist of seven wizards, 15 yetis and one minion. And of course, that's no ordinary minion. That's Mike the minion. If he's on the battlefield, you're in with a really good chance of getting three stars. Your spell is going to be one free spell and ten invisibility spells. And they are amazing. We'll show you that in just a moment. Your clan castle troops, two yetis, a valk and a barbarian named Bob. Donated clan castle spell will be a rage spell to sprinkle on top. And of course, your siege machine is the log launcher, guys. Yes. So we're going to jump into our first replay now. Let's go. So here we go guys, here's our first replay and this really is probably the most fun I've ever had with an attack strategy. So we've got so many yetis, funneling, yeah, it's going to be easy. Couple of yetis on the left, couple of yetis on the right, a few wizards to help out, there's your funnel complete. And then the rest of the yetis in the middle, there's the king and then the log launcher guys. And one good thing about the log launcher is it's pretty, it's pretty slow. It's about the same pace as me when I'm walking quickly down the road. So yes, guys, it's not going to go off and get into trouble, which is great. And the log launcher is sort of nudging its way through the base now. Those logs are flying out everywhere. The Eagle Artillery is saying, stop, that's not fair. And I say, yes, it is. And even the Multi Inferno is going to get taken out by the log launcher. There we go. And one interesting thing to note, though, is the log launcher sort of loses health over time. So even if it isn't attacked, it will self-destruct, guys, which I think is fair enough. Otherwise, it might just keep going forever. So the log launchers deploy the troops into the center of the base. And now let's watch the Royal Champion. This makes the attack strategy along with the log launcher. We've got all of these invisibility spells. So we started the, the Royal Champion there. Can she make her way all the way through the base to get us three stars? Let's see, guys. So... This is almost like a game within a game for me, keeping your Royal Champion alive. I found it so much fun just placing those invisibility spells down to protect the Royal Champion. Where is she going to go next? There we go. Let's protect her again. And we've got that free spell as well. Of course, you know, you can use that to protect the uh, Log Launcher or the Royal Champion. We've got uh, all the, the Yetis were in the center there, but we've lost most of the troops. We're not going to get three stars now, are we, guys? Yes, we are, because we've got Mike the Minion there. Hello, Mike. How are you doing? Yes, thank you. Uh, and we've got all these invi invisibility spells, if I can say it. And the Royal Champion just keeps going. And this is going to be a really popular attack strategy. And like I said, it's so much fun and easy to use. We've got one more left. Uh, so I've accidentally uh, made the Wizard Tower invisible. So the Royal Champion is ignoring it now, which is pretty good. It worked out okay. She's taken out the cannon and then the Wizard Tower. And guys, yes. I love this attack strategy, the log launcher, 15 yetis, loads of wizards to help out as well, and 10 invisibility spells. It's brilliant. So I hope you're looking forward to the new update. I just thought I'd put this replay together for you. Let me know what you think in the video comments. Are you looking forward to using the log launcher and the invisibility spell? Remember, the invisibility spell doesn't work on siege machines though, so your log launcher can't be made invisible. So guys, hope you enjoyed the video today. Remember to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Join the Smoose army. We're almost at 70,000. Subscribers, yes guys, thank you so much for your support. Samus, signing out, take care.